bad deals. You know, it, it's really interesting when I put a couple of posts out there, one in our in a in our sub two max group, and then just one on my Facebook wall. And I said, hey, if you guys had a bad sub two deal, let us know about it. We tend to not want to talk about things that go bad, things that go wrong. Uh, living in, I guess, fake book as we do most of the time, where everybody plays their highlight reels from their life. Uh, you know, lives that obviously have no problems or anything that that happens uh, that they don't like. Nobody likes to share that. And it's really unfortunate because as real estate investors, especially as experienced investors, we know things go wrong. Uh, things don't always work out as we would like for them to. And, and those are important lessons, especially for new people. But things happen. Uh, things don't always go as planned. I actually made a post on my wall yesterday about the best deal that you may ever do will be the one you don't do because of things that can go wrong. And, and as newbies, a lot of times, and I don't know how many of you guys are new to investing. If you've been doing this for any period of time, you know about things that go wrong. I can tell from the comments. Yeah, you aren't lying. Ain't that the truth? Um, we tend to want to accentuate the positives in a deal. And if <clears throat> I think the examples that I gave yesterday were, for example, um, if if you believe a deal comps out at 300 to 340, a newbie will always go for the 340. After repaired, this thing's going to be worth the max. And while that may happen, you may get offers over and above what you're asking for the house. It's really market dependent. Right now, we aren't seeing that as much. We just sold a rehab where we actually got a full price offer on the house, but we were offering some incentives. Uh, we actually offered uh, this rehab we just sold. We uh, we offered a ten thousand uh, dollar incentive for our buyer for the closing costs and other things. So that was something that not a lot of of just regular sellers are doing. So the house went very quickly. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.